disgrace Don't be scared if you don't fit in Look who's in the reject bin It's the raggy doll Raggy doll Doll like you and me Raggy doll Raggy doll Made him perfectly So if you got a bump on your nose Or lumps on your toes Do not despair Be like the raggy doll And say I just don't care Cause raggy doll Raggy doll Are happy just to be Raggy doll Raggy doll It was a rainy Saturday morning, and Sadzak was feeling bored. The others were trying to cheer him up. Knock, knock, said Lucy for the fourth time. Who's there? sighed Sadzak, really bored with knock knock jokes. Cook, said Lucy eagerly. Cook who? said Sadzak. Cuckoo, cuckoo, sang Lucy. Well, I never. It must be spring. <laughs> the others laughed, but Sadzak made an even more bored and miserable face. I should be careful if I were you, Sadzak, said Princess. What if the wind should change? What do you mean? It's an old saying, said Dotty. If you make an awful face and the wind changes, you'll stay looking like that for the rest of your life. Well, I don't care, said Sadzak. I'm bored and that's that. And I think dolls that are bored are really boring, said Princess, looking cross. L -l -l Let's not qu quarrel, said Hi-Fi. Let's think of something to do to do. That's right, said Back to Front. Or we'll all end up bored and making faces. That gives me an idea, said Claude. I know a way of making faces that is, how you say, far from boring. The raggy dolls listened as Claude explained his idea. They could all make puppets, and then they could make a puppet theatre, and then they could have a puppet show. Brilliant, said Dotty. Oh, yes, said Princess. We can make costumes and everything. How will we make the faces? asked Lucy. Avec le papier mâché, said Claude. Come, I will show you. In no time at all, the raggy dolls were in the canteen, learning how to make paper mâché. Claude had mixed a big bowl of flour and water to make a thick paste, while the others had gone up to Mr. Grimes's office to collect as much waste paper and old newspapers as they could find. Now, they all sat tearing the paper into tiny little pieces. Sadzak was still bored. This is even more boring than just being bored, he thought. Next, Claude showed them how to mix the paper with the paste. Et voilà, he said. Now you can make any shape you like. He quickly made a silly face with big ears sticking out. The others watched as he stuck a fork into the neck and held it up. And when it is dry, he explained, it can be painted, n'est-ce pas? The raggy dolls were delighted. They couldn't wait to get started. All except Sad Sack, of course. He didn't want to get his hands all sticky. That meant washing and washing was boring. For the rest of the morning, the raggy dolls made all kinds of funny faces. Claude put them in the oven so that they would dry quicker. When they came out, the faces were dry enough to paint. Dotty and Claude painted, while Lucy and Princess made costumes. Hi-Fi and Back to Front went off to make the puppet theatre. Everyone was so busy they hadn't noticed that Sadsack had made an enormous pile of tiny bits of paper. Isn't it about time we had some lunch? he said. Oh, Sadsack! exclaimed Princess. What are we going to do with all that paper? Just then, Hi-Fi and Back to Front returned. We've f f finished the p p puppet theatre, stammered Hi-Fi. Yeah, added Back to Front. No problem. I'm afraid there is, said Dotty. Sadzak's made all this extra paper, and it seems a pity to waste it. No problem, he said. After lunch, the others had decided that the show must go on, and Sadzak would be the audience. At last, Dotty called him. Come along, audience. 
Sadsack was surprised to see the reject bin looking like a puppet theater. He could hear lots of whispering and giggling going on. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Sadsack looked around. There's only me, he said. Oh, Sadsack, you're supposed to be the audience. Can't you pretend? I suppose so, said Sadsack. This better be good, he thought. Princess gave a little cough and continued. Ahem. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Ragged Dolls Puppet Theatre. Please take your seats for the most exciting puppet entertainment you have ever seen. Thank you. Hello. Say hello. Oh, hello. How are you today? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Where are you going then? I'm going to see the king. Why is that then? I've got to warn him. Oh dear, is something wrong then? Yes, a big fierce dragon has come to our village. A dragon? Oh no, oh dear, I'm all of a dither. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'd better go and warn the king. I'd better go and warn the king then. Sadzak began to feel very uneasy. This puppet show was really boring. Lucy, get off. Oh, alas, alack, uneasy lies the head that wears the crown. My husband, the king, does nothing but count his money, and his daughter, the princess, is not yet married. Oh, mummy, hast thou had the opportunity to speak to daddy yet? Nay, my fair child, alas, he is still counting his money. Oh, bother, I want to marry a handsome prince. Your Majesty, I must speak with the King. I have urgent news. A terrible, big, fierce dragon has come to our land and is at this very moment approaching this castle. Lucy, get on! Tis true, tis true. Oh dear, oh dear. Whatever shall we do? Sadzak was just about to boo when he heard a noise behind him. He turned and to his horror, he saw a huge dragon coming towards him. The dragon gave a mighty roar. I smell someone who is very bored. I eat very bored people. Sadsack begged for mercy. Oh, please, dragon, don't eat me. I promise I'll never be bored again. Never. Do you, Mamine? Yes, yes, anything you say, moaned Sadsack. Good, good. Now close your eyes. Sadsack closed his eyes. You c can open them now, laughed hi fi To Sadsack's complete amazement, all the raggy dolls were standing round him. Where's the dragon? he asked. Claude lifted up the dragon's head. It was made of paper mache. Voila, mon ami. It is only a very big puppet. You made too much papier, remember? But the voice, said Sadsack. I did, did, did that, said hi fi I slowed to down my t tape machine. But how are you so tall? Is that possible? Explained Claude. I carried our fire on my shoulders. Well, I hope you've learnt your lesson, said Dotty kindly. Yes, oh yes, said Sadsack. Now I know what it's like to be very nearly bored to death. <laughs> Not much of a life when you're just a pretty face Just to be whoever you are is no disgrace Look around and you will find People of every kind Like the raggy dolls Raggy dolls Raggy dolls Dolls like you and me Raggy dolls Raggy dolls Raggy dolls Made him perfectly So if you're not at ease with your knobbly knees And your fingers are all thumbs Stand on your two left feet and join our raggy doll chums. Cause raggy dolls, raggy dolls, are happy to be. Raggy dolls, raggy dolls, dolls like you and me.